What's up YouTube, Mohunnis100, and today I'm going to be doing a video showing you guys my Arcade 1-Up uh, Arcade Cabinet Collection. And um, I originally had these three. Well, the Street Fighter one was the first one I got. <clears throat> and then the Deluxe with the 12-in-1 games was the second one I got. Then I caught the Galaga at a nearby Walmart. <clears throat> and then recently, I went to my neighborhood Walmart and I found a Pac-Man cabinet. So this one is really cool. I like the Pac-Man cabinet a lot. It's one of my favorites. Um, reason I was uh, making this video is to just give a review on what I think of the RK One Up um, and their cabinets, and I think that they're really cool. I think the Pac-Man cabinet really stepped it up. I heard they're coming out with a Mortal Kombat one. Um, I know the Space Invaders is coming for sure, and the Final Fight cabinet. I plan on getting both of those. You know, um, and uh, I'm I'm actually running out of room. As you can see, there's a wall right there. There's a couch. So I plan on carpeting half of my garage and and getting a couple more of these, you know, because I, I really like them and I'm playing them for a, a long amount of time. And I think their customer service is great. Um, there was an issue with the paint on their control decks. And they, they sent out these plastic protectors. I have a plastic protector on... Uh, the Galaga on the Street Fighter one, and even on my Deluxe, but I didn't notice anywhere on the uh, the paint. And I was playing these things for a long time. Maybe I'm just not playing it as rough as you know people in the store were playing it. But um, I'm playing them. I'm you know trying to hit high scores and stuff on it, and none of my paint was damaged at all. They did send um, the the graphics with it, so I went ahead and threw that on there anyway. Because what am I going to do with the graphics if I don't put it on here, you know? So um, I just put it underneath there anyway. But, I mean, there was no damage. And it looks exactly the same as before. But it's cool that they sent these out and they addressed the problem, I mean, that some people were having. And um, I don't have a, a protective cover for the Pac-Man one because this one just came out on Black Friday. So um, what I went ahead and did was um, the, they send you these panels and it's you have to assemble it. And it's in a big plastic clear bag. So what I did was I just cut a portion of the bag off. And then I just went ahead and taped the corners to my control deck. So as you can see, I went around and just taped it up. And it stays on there pretty nice. You can hit the buttons. So and you, you can play the game. And it's, it's really simple. Um, I did order another control deck uh, cover for the Pac-Man cabinet. But for the time being... I mean, just so it doesn't get damaged. And they told me they were going to send me the graphics with that one too. But I just went ahead and did this anyway. It was like a five-minute quick little, you know, snip the plastic. And that was it. But I'll go ahead and turn it on for you guys. So you can check it out. And it's probably best if you plug it into a power strip. Uh, search, search protector. Just because I don't know exactly how much electricity this is using, but it shouldn't be too much. It's just really just four monitors and a uh, game attached to it. I don't know. Um, I'm just making an estimate. So here's the Pac-Man. Here's the 12-in-1. So good grip of games on the 12-in-1. I actually do. Um, this is my favorite, Major Havoc. I spend a lot of time playing it. I'm trying to beat all 16 levels, but it's pretty hard. Um, I got through about eight of them. So these are all the games on the Atari Deluxe 12 in 1. And then Pac-Man just comes with Pac-Man and Pac-Man Plus. Pac-Man Plus is a lot faster and a lot harder. But um yeah, I just been playing the classic. I I did try Plus and it's pretty cool too. And then this one is just three versions of Street Fighter 2. You got Champion Edition, you got Super Street Fighter 2 the new challengers, you got Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. And then over here is just Galaga and Galaxian. But um yeah, so far I've really enjoyed playing these, and I think they're, you know, really great price for the money considering the full-size versions cost, you know, thousands. And, um, you know, for a Pac-Man, it's, it's like 2500 you know. But this way, I got it on Black Friday for 250 you know. So I actually paid less for this one than I did for the rest. So, um, And then I also put them on the risers just because it looks better and it's standing height. You can still use a bar stool with it. And you can play like that, but um, I usually just stand up. If I'm trying to hit high scores on this one or this one, 
Then I'll use a bar stool. I beat this game on a bar, with a bar stool just because I didn't want to stand up for a long time. But um, as you can see, this is how they send you the um, the protective cover. So this is the the protective cover. You have to peel some film off of it. It's it's clear. And then this is the graphics overlay. So they they went ahead and accidentally sent me two of these. So I have one on there. I don't really have anything to do with this one. Um, like, I don't know what to do with it, but, um, <clears throat> yeah, that's that's how they send it to you. But um, what I've been looking into is uh, getting some of those uh, rests for a keyboard rest because I'm putting this towel here. And I'm playing Pac-Man, and I'm using the towel just because this, um, this kind of gets your wrist after a while. So I'm looking for some of those typing keyboard things that you rest your wrist on um, just to put it right here while I'm playing long for long periods of time I use it for Galaga too so let's see so my high score on Galaga is 86,000 which is decent it's 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 decent Pac-Man so far I've got I can actually play this one so um, let me see So, um, let's see. I'll start it. Alright, I'm not gonna beat the whole level. Get all these guys. Show you an easy way to do that. Oh shoot! I was looking at the phone. <laughs> Excuses, right? But yeah. But um, yeah. There's there's a couple patterns and stuff you can do with that. I just been freehanding it. I can't memorize those patterns. But um, yeah. These things are these things are really cool. You know, as you can see, you can have like the. The display and stuff and um, just going if you're not playing it um, I don't know how, how much electricity this uses but I usually just play one at a time but I've had a couple people over who actually played um, we had them all running at once and it, it's really cool you know um, it's probably the most cost-efficient way to get an arcade in your house um, you know I, I can't imagine anyone wanting to spend three grand on this one, four grand on this one, two grand on that one, like when you can get it for this price and, you know. And then the cool thing about these things is, you know, I'm playing Pac-Man at night and, you know, I just turn the sound off and I'm playing it and this is all you hear. That's all you hear. You don't hear, you know, the normal Pac-Man. This thing's loud, you know, so. Even even on medium, it still makes noise. So I mean, it's it's cool to be able to just mute it. You know, you can't do that on older arcades. You don't have volume controls. You know, so um, I mean, I like them. They're cool. I'm gonna end up moving this to the garage and getting a couple more. Maybe getting an air hockey table. You know, and I think it it would be cool to have. Like um, I mean, I don't want to spend thousands of dollars on full-size arcades and I, I doubt anybody does but these are pretty cool I might go for the rampage one I don't know yet um I'm not too fond of the games that are on there I got these ones because you know I know what they are and I you know I've played them many times and I like them so yeah I mean I'll get some more and and I'll let you guys know my thoughts and I'll, I'll also play them a lot so anything issues come up like I'll I'll definitely let you guys know. And um, yeah, that's just my quick review of the RK One Up and their cabinets. And so far, they've been really cool. I mean, I've had them since they came out. You know, this was my first one, uh, the Street Fighter, and I've had it since it came out. And there's nothing wrong with it. The monitor still looks great. And um, I really enjoy playing them. But uh, thanks for watching.